from Boxing Day past May Day, Everton's journey from the dressing room has been made with relish and their return with a smile. A 25-game unbeaten run towards the treble and whatever the final outcome, unquestionably deserving the title of Team of the Season. And for their supporters, the added point to whet the appetite, the chance that they could do something which has so far eluded Liverpool, win the Cup and League double. And for what, at kick-off, looks one of their most difficult fixtures for the champions elect. Howard Kendall, their manager, is fortunate in having his first choice available. Peter Reid and Kevin Sheedy returning after injury to bring their very different talents to the midfield. The acclaim for the home team, who themselves have had a fine season back in the big time. But this afternoon, they're not so lucky with injuries because they're without Peter Shirtliff and Nigel Worthington, for whom John Ryan and Laurie Madden deputise. They're so close to a place in Europe, but with six teams looking for just three available places, they will need to halt the Everton wagon. The referee, Ken Redburn of Whitley Bay, having achieved his first task of taking the two mascots to the sidelines. We're already on a cold, wet May afternoon for a fixture which promises much. Everton have the kickoff and start with a front line of five. And we see the runners on the near side. Stephen, Sharp, look for the long ball. Here it comes, but it's too long. And goes into touch. For a sort of full start. Pushed by Chapman. Sheffield so Wednesday, who've only lowered their colours once at Hillsborough this season. At the Norwich City and have scored in every match. And they give... Everton an early corner, conceded by Ryan. Sharp on the near post. Reed. And Blair took his time, and how well. Good break by Smith but not a good pass. Came off the head of Laurie Madden. Reed. Sharp just managed to stay onside. Oh. Really very, very strong challenge by Laurie Madden on Peter Reed. And you may have noticed the boos for Peter Reid. I think that goes back to the match between these two at Goodison Park when Reid was involved in an incident with Brian Marwood. Marwood having previously been involved in an incident which ended the season for Adrian Heath. Two bookings came as a result. Oh, that's a very difficult one. And the goalkeeper troubled by Andy Gray. Trouble by a man right on the line. Who was Van den Hau. Ratcliffe. Sharp and Gray forward. Gray. Gray Swell. Ratcliffe. Sheedy. Offside anyway. All the officials come from the northeast. 
both linesmen from Cleveland. Fred Bond with the red flag there and Ken Lupton. Ratcliffe, Shelton, Morris, right back into the rusher. Sharp, Trevor Stephen, Gray's far post. Beautifully chipped up and blocked on the near post by Smith. Near post in the end. Trevor Stephen breaking to the right. It was a delightful little chip across for the diving head of Gray, who suddenly found the post was being covered by Mark Smith. Madden, Sheedy, off Smith again. Stephen didn't keep it in. Peter Reed is so hyped up, it's not true. Mountfield. Well, Everton may have games in hand. Well, the cup final now so close, but no question of them being allowed to or wanting to take this one easily. Blair, Gray, oh, what a great first-time ball from Gray to Bracewell. Sharp, and away by Mike Lyons. Lovely pass by Gray. An instant clip, which got Bracewell into space. Sharp. Surprisingly got away, three up to help. Lyons Gray. Well, he rather mishit it to tell the truth. But Hodge was already diving across, and the ball filled the space that Hodge had left. So Andy Gray, one of eight players on the field in the double scoring column for goals, takes his personal tally to 12 the obvious delight of the evidence of waters. Not one of his spectacular goals, but one which gives Everton the lead in the 25th minute. Marwood. A 25 match unbeaten run. Started on Boxing Day with a 2-1 win against Sunderland at Roker Park. It's included 21 wins and four draws. Sharp in the chase. This time Hodge stays back and right click. Morris took too long. Sharp thought the ball had gone off the fullback, or was he complaining about the free kick? If he was doing the latter, he seemed to me to have a case. Marwood. Must be Verardi! Oh, what a brilliant save! How did he deflect that? Because I don't believe that Berardi actually hit it very hard, which in a curious way might have made it more difficult. He's spinning away, and Southall able to parry the ball out of harm's way. There. Shelton, good header. There again. Ryan, didn't know he had it. Blair. Ratcliffe, another corner. No time at all for a 
reflection on the save. The pressure is maintained by Wednesday. Mark Smith trying to get through the crowd. Marwoods. Another corner, got a deflection. And the Sheffield Wednesday crowd and their team pressing in on Everton. Barnes didn't make it, Gray did, another corner. That's number 10. Double the number that Everton have had. But Everton had the only goal. Real congestion on the near post. On by Lyons. Brilliant save again! And then went off the crossbar. First from Smith, the second from Marwood. Unbelievable stuff! seen such intense pressure applied by a football team and Everton are really suffering at the moment another corner Southall has made two quite remarkable saves and was helped out by the crossbar what an end to this first half Lyons didn't make it Sharp did Trevor Stephen Last they find an outlet and a relief of the pressure. But not for long. We're in injury time in the first half. Brandon Howe for Everton. But the whistle brings him to a halt. And listen to the applause. An unrelenting first half. Hugely demanding physically. So determined in style. Produced 16 corners. But only the one goal scored by Andy Gray in the 25th minute. And that gives the champions elect the half-time lead. Whatever the final result, it is, of course, a very special day for the Wednesday captain, Mike Lyons, playing host to the club whom he served for 13 years. Before the match, the two chairmen of the two clubs, Bert McGee of Sheffield Wednesday and Philip Carter of Everton, came together to present Mike Lyons with a suitably engraved gold watch. It marked his 500th appearance, which he set early last month, and it received great applause from supporters of both Everton and Wednesday. Once again... Everton indebted to Neville Southall. A very fine season he's had. Favourite to be the footballer of the year. And he may have a fair bit of work to do in the second half, judging by the uh, pressure that Sheffield Wednesday applied at the end of the first. No threat. Three up for Wednesday. Three just behind them. And this is Gary Shelton. Brady. Good try, good save. Never any doubt in Brady's mind that he was going to have a crack. Not a fierce shot. Trying to clear the goalkeeper. And Southall able to turn it over with relative ease for a goalkeeper of his quality. Came off the wrong side of Mike Lyons' head. Offside against Bracewell. Smith. 
Smith. Gray quickly between him and the goal. Lyons. Moradi. Moradi and Ryan not together. Madden. Moradi beats Reed. Inside Stevens and here's Chapman. Too hot to hold. Chapman again. Stevens. Everton with one player down in the area. Referee tells him to get up. Ratcliffe concedes the corner. And Mountfield is the injured party. Clears the head and prepares like Southall for the corner. Oh! Off the top of the crossbar. Mark Smith's head up. Flew off the top of the crossbar. Free kick against Madden. And it's now just a question of what Mr. Redfern has allowed. So should be about a couple of minutes. Gray. Sheedy. Fine save by Martin Hodge. It was labelled and he covered his ground well. Hopeful and still, but it is now offside. An expression of almost resignation on the uh, face of the linesman. Stevens. Mountfield. Trying for the lob to beat the offside trap. Trevor Steven. Steven again. Bracewell. Sharp. Morris. Perhaps the last push by Sheffield Wednesday. Blair takes and Reed clears. Stephen. Sharp with Martin Hodge backpedaling furiously. And crossing his side a few seconds. It's the 20th corner of the match. Stephen. And the championship is there for Everton's taking on their own ground on Monday. And don't they know it? A really fierce examination of their abilities and their character by a Sheffield Wednesday side that battled the way all the way through. So in the end, after much endeavour and sweat on the brow, the one goal decides, scored by Andy Gray, in the 25th minute.